hello friends welcome to sourcecad and in this tutorial we are going to look at a very important tool of autocad that is design center so design center is a built-in autocad uh, browser which is quite similar to windows browser and it is very useful for importing components of a drawing into your present drawing so for example if you're working on a project and you want to import the components for example the furnitures plumbing equipments and other things from your previous projects and you don't want to import complete drawing then design center will come in handy so let's go ahead and explore design center so you can start design center by typing a d c e n t e r on your command line so type a d c e n t e r on your command line so i'll go and type a d c e n t e r and press enter and the design center window will pop up now also you can start design center by pressing control key and 2 simultaneously so press control and 2 and the design center will appear and the third method is go to view ribbon and there you will find this design center this small icon for design center here so you can click on this design center and the design center window will pop up now on this design center window here if you'll open it so it will open the last view or the default view which is currently right now I have opened here so this is the default view or if you have previously used the design center then it will open the same view which was in your previous drawing so now in this design center we can explore some of the default blocks and other things which are currently stored in the design center and which we can use in our current project or in our current drawing so now let's explore it so first I'll go to ENUS folder and then design center folder and now here you will find different drawings so suppose I want to make a kitchen and I need some kitchen equipments so I'll go to kitchens.dwg drawing obviously and there you will find all the components which are included in the kitchen drawing so here all the drawings which are in the design center folder are listed here and we are interested in kitchen drawing so here you will find kitchens.dwg so click on this plus icon and you will find all the components which are listed here so you can explore it from here or you can explore it from here as well so I'll use this because it's quite easy to understand and easy to find now here I want to explore blocks of the kitchen so click on blocks and you'll see all the blocks which are in our kitchens.dwg drawing okay now suppose I want to import this oven so I want to import this oven into our drawing so I'll double click it once you double click it insert block window will pop up click on OK make the settings which you want and click OK so after hitting OK you'll be able to import it into your drawing so click anywhere on the screen so here we have now let's go back to design center and now this was one method of importing it now let's import another component that is microwave let's import this microwave but this time I won't double click it instead I will drag and drop it into our drawing so drag and drop it into our drawing and there it is you can import it in this way also but this is a least this is a little less accurate method than the previous one so you can use any of the method to import the drawings and as you have seen that I've imported these two drawings these two drawings are now inserted into the library here you'll find microwave and the oven also these two drawings are now in the library of our current drawing as well now let's delete it even after deleting you'll find it here so you can import it anytime and you don't need to go through design center time and again now suppose we want to explore some of the drawings which we have already made and we want to and we don't want to explore the drawings which are currently present in design center for that let's go to our own drawing I have made a sample drawing for that so let's go to open and I'll go to desktop and I'll select my own drawing that is design center so double click on design center and here it will be imported now these components are the components which are present in my drawing my own drawing so I may or may not have made all the components but it will list in this view now I'm interested in blocks so I'll double click blocks now it might take some time if you have a long list of blocks in your drawing so 
have patience let it load okay now all the components all the blocks are loaded now i want to import a component from this so i'll click on this component drag it and drop it in my drawing window and there it is so i have the component imported on my drawing window so in this way you can import components which is block in this case so not only blocks you can import other components as well so for importing other components i'll go to my own drawing so now i'll go to my drawing which is here um, design center so click on this design center and now i'm interested in layers this time so i have imported blocks now let's go to layers and now this drawing has got these many layers and now as you can see that right now i have a limited number of layers these layers are imported along with the blocks which i have imported here so these are the layers which this block is actually made up of now i want to import some other layers which are not present in this for example let's say i want to import this pha layer or the pipe layer so let's import this pha layer first so i'll click on this layer drag it and drop it and then click on this window and there you will find the pha layer with its all properties as it is so all the properties and the layer is imported and now you can work on this layer as well so let's click on this design center drawing and now if you want to import other things like dimension styles click on dimension styles and here we have so many dimension styles so now if you want to import any of one of them like copy of ar click on this import it and now go to annotate and there you will find copy of ar now we have that dimension style so in this way without making all these components again and again you can import these components from one drawing to another drawing and you can exchange data between drawings and that will certainly increase your productivity and the time of making a project of making a drawing will be reduced considerably so this will certainly help you in a long run now let's explore some of the other tools which we are finding on this design center window right now so now one of the other feature which we have here is the search uh, so let's go to this search tool now the search tool will come in handy if you know the component but you don't know where the component is located for example you know the name of a block but you don't know where the block is in that case you can search for that is uh, that particular component now let's open this design center drawing and go to blocks and here we have a plenty of blocks so let's make a search for this now suppose i want to import this c underscore two block and i don't know where this where this drawing is let's assume that i don't know so i will import it using this search window so go to search now i want to import blocks so i will select blocks now where to find it so i want to find it into c drive but yes i will make a specific selection to make the search process faster so i will select desktop because my drawing is located on desktop and i and i at least know that my drawing is located on desktop even if you don't know the location you can select the drive uh, or you can even specify entire computer so it will search for entire computer but that will take some time so it is recommended that you specify a specific location so i have specified desktop here check this search subfolders this will include all the folders which are present on the desktop now let's make a search and the search term is c underscore 2 so this was the block which we are looking for and go to search and as soon as you will press enter it will make a search and it will return the drawing it will return the block the location of drawing and the component type so here's the drawing here's the component now click it drag it drop it and here we have the component so since this is a attributed block this window will pop up go ahead click okay and see here we have the block so in this way you can import the drawings or other components now let's look at other small icons so this is your favorite folder so click on this and it will open a folder into your c drive which is located which is the default folder and you can search for this folder using this tree so this is the favorite folder you can store your blocks in this folder and use it for a reference now click on this home here you will find the home view uh, in which the design center opened for the first time so you can click on home and that will take you to design center folder okay so and here we have 
the tree now if you want to hide this tree click on this and the tree will hide click on this and it will appear again now here we have a preview panel the preview panel so, so select the object and its preview will display here so if you will click on this you won't be able to see the preview and similarly here is the description panel you can find the description here but once you click on this you won't be able to find the description as well so let's click on both these objects and you will be able to find the preview and the description as well now the last one is view so right now I'm finding large icons click on small icons and the view will change and you are familiar with this because it's completely similar to the Windows Explorer this was our design center and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and as always thanks for watching